In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour around the Really Simple Systems Service and Support module. The Service and Support module is an essential tool for delivering great customer service by making sure your customer support requests are handled promptly and efficiently. This integrated ticketing system helps speed up your customer response times by automating incoming emails and managing your support request queue. It will help you track and prioritise your service requests making sure that nothing gets forgotten. Let's first look at the dashboard. Your service and support dashboard gives you a summary of your current help desk activity and you can customise it to highlight what's important to you. Your outstanding service requests are referred to as cases and using the dashboard widgets, you can display a list of today's cases. That's the cases that have been created today. And red cases, these are cases where the time elapsed from opening the case is outside the account service level agreement. It also has clickable graphs showing open cases by user, open cases by type and cases by month. The dashboard allows you to quickly see what cases are outstanding, which should be prioritised and who to assign them to. You can monitor any overdue cases and see how many cases each of your operators have on the go. If you need to, you can reassign cases to another operator. Let's take a look at cases in more detail. A case is a service and support action that has been raised by a customer. For example, reporting a problem they have. Cases can be created manually within the company's account, from incoming emails, from a web form, or via our CRM API. Cases are logged against a company account and will include information on the priority of the case, the time opened, time closed, case status and type. It is assigned to a case owner who is responsible for managing the case. Other CRM users can have visibility of cases from the company accounts page, so they are always up to date with the activity. Let's create a new case. To create a new case, go to the customer's account page and scroll down to the cases section and then click on the add button. Create a new case by adding a subject, setting the case level, for example, high, medium or low, and set the case owner and save. You can also create cases from incoming emails. Using our web transactions feature, you can set up an email address to automatically create a case whenever a message is sent to that address. For example, we use support at reallysimplesystems.com. In the same way, you could set up a form on your website that when submitted creates a case. When a case is created, it is automatically assigned a case ID number and you can set up an automatic response message letting the customer know their request has been received. Then any messages from the customer using that case ID will save the message to the relevant case. The new case is added to the support queue and prioritised according to the service level agreement. I'll explain more about setting up SLAs later. Once the customer's issue has been dealt with, you can close the case by clicking the close case button on the top of the case page. That will change the case status to closed, update the time closed field and create a case closed activity in the account timeline. If you have a closed case that you wish to reopen, click the reopen case button on the top of the page. That will change the case status to open, clear the time closed field and create a case reopened activity. Okay, let's now take a look at service level agreements. To help prioritize your cases, you can set service level agreements or SLAs that automatically define the importance of the customer and the urgency of their issue. The system uses a traffic light metaphor to class cases as red, amber or green, so you can see at a glance what's important. SLAs are the contracts or agreements you have in place with your customers to deliver your service. Within the CRM system, you can define multiple service level agreements and assign one to each account. SLAs can have multiple case levels and with each case level you can define the elapsed time after opening. 
according to the time lapse from the creation date, the case will turn from green to amber and then to red to indicate urgency. If you don't use service level agreements, then you can use a default SLA for all customers. As is standard throughout the CRM system, cases and SLAs can be customised to suit your business. So let's create a new SLA. To create your SLAs, go to Settings, then System Settings, and open the Service Level Agreement section. To create a new SLA, click the Add button. First, give your SLA a name, such as Gold, Priority 1, etc. Set the SLA to Active, and select the SLA owner from your list of CRM users. Next, we need to set the case level. SLAs can have multiple case levels that will enable you to determine the priority of one SLA over another. To create a new case level, click the Add button in the Case Level table. Firstly, give the case level a name, such as High, Business Critical, etc. Then set the Amber and Red times. These will vary according to your business. The amber time is the time after opening the case that it will turn from green to amber. The red time is the time after opening the case that it will turn from amber to red. In this example, the amber time has been set to 120 minutes and the red time to 240 minutes. In the case level screen, you can also set the rank for the SLA case level. The rank will determine how a case is sorted against other cases. For example, if you have an SLA called Silver with a case level called Critical with an Amber rank of 60 and an SLA called Gold with a case level called Standard with a green rank of 40, then the Silver Critical Amber case will rank above the Gold Standard Green case. Once you've created the SLA, you can apply it to a customer account by editing the account record and selecting the service level agreement from the drop down list. The CRM listing reports feature offers full reporting on all the data in the service and support module, and these can be customised to suit your business. For example, you might like to analyse your closed cases, your team response times, and your frequently asked questions. Should you wish to limit who has access to your service and support data, you can assign user permission levels to your team to allow read, write or no access to cases. That's the end of this quick tour and thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you need any further help, you can access our customer support hub from the help drawer in your CRM or you can get in touch with our support team on support at reallysimplesystems.com.